Welcome to this introduction to the Soundway program. Since the 1990s, the Soundway DVD teaching programs have dramatically improved the reading, writing and spelling skills of multitudes of people from around the world. Poor English literacy skills in Australia and overseas are an ever-increasing problem. And this DVD will clearly illustrate how the Soundway programs provide the key to helping people of every age and nationality to quickly and impressively improve their fundamental reading, writing, spelling and speaking skills. Now research has shown that 60% of people will learn to read and write English no matter how or by what method they are taught. 40% don't and will learn with much difficulty. Now half of that 40% that's one out of every five people, will never ever get it and will never learn to read and write English effectively. Let me briefly outline for you how and why the Soundway program works as quickly and as effectively as it does. Now the human brain works and functions very much like a computer. And just like a computer, it must first be loaded and programmed with certain information before it can be effectively put to work. Albert Einstein once said that one wrong input into the human mind required 12 correct inputs to negate the wrong one sown. So you can understand how important it is that the sounds of the English language are taught clearly and accurately, and preferably by a native English speaking person. Because students will model off their teacher, and what they learn will become the basis for their pronunciation and articulation of English words. Now there are 45 sounds that comprise English words. These smallest of sound units are called phonemes, and this is where we must begin. Any English word is simply a combination of a number of these sound units. See how in this excerpt from Lesson 1 of the Senior Program, I first begin to teach and load the brain with the 45 sounds that comprise English words and the 75 ways there are of representing these sounds on paper. Before viewing this, it's important to understand that all the teaching necessary in the course is carried out by myself personally. First I will teach you the sound or sounds the consonants make when we put them on paper. Listen carefully to me first, then repeat with a clear, firm voice. The first one here has one sound, remember, listen to me first, and the sound is B. Listen again. B. It's just an explosion of air. Say the sound. Good. Now it's not B. It's not B or B. It's listen. B. Say it again. Good. This one has two sounds. K. S. It will either say K or it will say it has two possible sounds. As you learn it, I just want you to say the two sounds, one after the other, like this. K, s. You try it. K, s. Now the first sound is k. It's just air, it's not k. It hasn't got voice box added to it, it's just k. Try the first sound. K. Now the two sounds, listen. K, s. Try that. A few lessons later. So far I've taught you the first 26 phonic communicators. I'll now teach you the next 30. Wait until you hear me say the sound or sounds, then repeat in a clear, firm voice after me. Sh. E. If I want to refer to this one, I'll refer to it as double E. The sound it gives is just E, and that's all I want to hear you say. So the sound is A. This is two letter A that we don't use at the end of a word. English words do not end with I. The sound is A. This is the A, two letter A, we do use at the end of an English word. Now any word is simply a series of sounds one after the other. For example, take the word flag. Now each of my fingers represents a sound. Flag. Flag. We take the sounds of the word we're speaking and transpose them onto paper. This is the encoding process we call spelling. Once we've learnt to do this, 
we can automatically reverse the process and decode words. This decoding process we call reading. Flag. Flag. So in reality, we don't teach a person to read. We teach them how to spell and write, and reading becomes the byproduct of the process. Now approximately 93% of English words are totally phonetic and follow the rules of English spelling. The sound way teaches and integrates these two facts in a logical, sequential and cumulative manner. For this reason, all students need to begin with lesson one and move progressively through the 40 minute DVD lessons. Each lesson adds on and provides new knowledge and understanding to the student's memory bank. Now the rules of English spelling, or language facts as I call them, are integrated into the teaching of words and are taught at the point of need, not memorised as a long list of rules. The very first word I teach in the program is the word go. G -o. Now most people would know how to spell the word go, but why does the O in go, g -o, why does the O say O and not O, like in the word got, g -o. Why is the O in go, O? Now there's a really definite and important reason for this. Watch how the language facts are taught and imparted to the students at the very beginning of the program. See here how in this relatively simple word, go, one of the essential conditions required for a vowel to say its name is imparted to the students. Watch with me. The first sound in the word go is G within half a centimetre of the edge. Let's do it together. Say the next sound and write it and sit it right next to the G we've just written. The next sound in go is O. Starts at two on the circle, back to two. The word we've written is go. You're talking back to me? The word we've written is go. Beneath the O, I want you to do what I call an oblique, which is a line like that. Do one of those. The reason we put the oblique underneath is because there is a language fact happening. A language fact is like a rule. This language fact, number one, tells us that A, E, O and U, that's all of the vowels except the I, A, E, O and U, usually say their names at the end of a syllable. Now have a look, is that O at the end of a syllable? Yes, it is, isn't it? Is it saying its name? O? Yes, it is. The Soundway program teaches and provides the students with a tangible understanding of the mechanics of the English language. Students actually learn the how and why of the construction of most English words. Here's an excerpt taken from the lesson which teaches the five reasons there are for using a silent E at the end of English words. It's taken from the senior program. You're on page 16. The heading on this page is the five kinds of silent E's. Have you ever noticed how many English words end with a silent E? It's an interesting thing to have a look at. I'm going to teach you the five reasons that we use a silent E. The first reason for a final silent E is it lets the vowel say its name. Without that E there, that word would be tap, t, ap. By putting a final e, the final e allows the vowel to say its name. Now it doesn't make it say its name, but it allows it to say its name if we wish to use it that way. So the word becomes tape, t, a, p, e. Without the e, the word would be tap. With the e, it becomes tape. This is the king reason the main reason for a final silent E. The second reason is it lets the C say S and the G say J. A final E lets the C say S and the G say J. Without an E there, that word would be dank, d -a -n -k. But an E after the C lets the C say S. And an E after the G, without an E, it would be L -a -g. With the E, the G can become J, and the word becomes large. The sound way moves the students from the simple to the complex. 
from words like these, progressively through to words like these, which are at a senior high school or tertiary level of difficulty. After completing a 40 minute DVD lesson in their student manuals, students work through and complete and mark a corresponding workshop exercise in their workshop books. These take approximately 35 minutes to complete and are incorporated into both the junior and the senior Soundway programs. They not only revise and consolidate what's been taught in the DVD lessons, but more than double the number of words presented in the program. They include closed sentences, spelling and vocabulary development, and a comprehension passage and questions. The main function of the workshop books is to help and allow the students to smoothly transition to independent learning, that is, to be able to confidently decipher, analyse and learn new words for themselves at will. There are senior and junior Soundway programs. The senior Soundway program has been designed to meet the needs of students 11 years of age through to adults. It comprises of 36 40-minute face-to-face DVD lessons, each one backed up by a 35-minute workshop book lesson. The total time needed to complete both of these is between one and a quarter and one and a half hours. By completing one lesson a day, Monday to Friday, in the school system, the senior program is completed in less than eight weeks. By completing two lessons a day in ESL centres, higher education or tertiary institutions, the program can be completed in less than one month. Here's the pre and post spelling tests of two teenagers from Bacchus Marsh Secondary College as filmed and recorded by A Current Affair. These improvements were made in four weeks. Have a good look at the dramatic increase in their word attack skills and their newly acquired ability to now tackle words they wouldn't have dared contemplate before. Here's the first one. Before. And four weeks later, after completing the Soundway program. Look at the difference in his writing. Here's the second one. Before. And after. This 16 year old made a spelling improvement of 4.3 years in four weeks. Here's an excerpt from the end of that A Current Affair report. Jessica improved her reading by 3.7 years, her spelling by four years. Sheridan advanced by two years for reading and almost three for spelling. And Kate and Matt showed vast improvement too. The standout was young Michael, who advanced in reading almost five and a half years. You proud of yourself too? Yeah. How do you feel about yourself now? A lot better. I've been reading a lot more too, which yeah. is grass. Would you have left school? Yeah, probably. Because you were feeling that bad about yourself? Mm. So you'll stay in school now? Yep. Yeah. The Junior Soundway program is designed for children five to ten years of age. It consists of 53 40 minute face to face DVD lessons reinforced by a 25 minute workshop book lesson. Apart from the addition of rhyme, verse speaking, and a five minute story time at the end of each lesson, it follows the same format as the senior program excerpts, which you've just seen. The language has been modified to suit that of younger children. The junior program takes children to approximately a grade seven level of understanding leaving them well advanced and equipped to confidently handle and learn new words they'll encounter at school or in their life in general. It takes just 12 weeks to complete the program in the school system. When applied according to instructions, the Soundway program lifts and increases the standards of primary school children's reading and spelling abilities by an average of two to three years in two to three months. It doesn't matter whether the students are currently average advanced or remedial. The average improvement the first time they go through the program will be two to three years. These results are ascertained by the use of pre and post testing using nationally recognised standardised tests. Older and more mature students have evidenced improvements of up to eight years in their reading ability and six years in their spelling ability. Let me leave you now with some video examples of students before doing and after completing the Soundway program. But most lovely of all was the skill which 
with which they f flew. Now yeah. at 140 miles per hour, it wasn't nearly as hard as it had been before at 70. And with the fidget twist of his wingtips, I can read every single word in that book. What's that like? It's brilliant. <laughs> with he said, spaceship landed on a purple planet. Elephant. Seven-year-old Kevin Tamoy's reading level improved from that of a six-and-a-half-year-old to that of a nine-and-a-half-year-old. My friend Sally is going on. For seven-year-old Errol Close, the results were more startling. He was already a year ahead before the program. He's jumped six years, a reading level, reading age of six years in a matter of just six months and he's now reading at a reading age of 14 to 15 and he's only seven years old. It's amazing. We're very proud of him. I could actually read more fluently and, and actually spell the words properly. Now I really like English. I'm very proud of myself. Like I didn't think I would accomplish that because you don't realise when you're in the Soundway program that you're actually like gaining more confidence and you're getting a lot better. After the program, it was like I had a different child. It was like um, someone had got my daughter and replaced her spelling and her reading ability with someone different. I had a lovely man that um, could not read or write and we did the Soundway program and uh, now he's an exceptional speller and reader. On average we've seen a growth in oral reading age of 3.66 years and a growth in spelling age of 2.44 years but I must add that with the oral reading we've actually had some students demonstrate growth of 5.9 years and that's a lot of growth, that's a huge improvement in just 10 weeks. It's just an incredible program and one that really improves the kids' confidence to do well. It, it sets them up essentially for the rest of their school life. Now anyone can have and experience this same proven success, be it in the school system, the home, the workplace, or an English or ESL centre. To find out how, contact us today by using any of the addresses found on your screen. We look forward to hearing from you and working together to bring about your own personal success stories.